Welcome to humanity. This is our one. Whatever it takes, we got to say whatever it takes. What it takes is what it took. This is Brock Lesnar, and you're listening to Fight Net Radio. Yo, hi, this is Sugar Ray Leonard, and you listen to Fight Net Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to listen to Fight Net Radio. Me, Harvey Oswald, what do you mean? Mm-hmm. How am I supposed to know you? This is Frank Shamrock. We're listening to Fight Net Radio. Hi, this is Mia, the Knockout St. John. You're listening to Fight Net Radio, and there's no way I would ever touch Lee. Chuck Jackson, I am Stephen Bonner, and you're listening to Fight Net Radio. Yeah, you're listening to Fight Net Radio. Everybody, welcome to Fight Net Radio, <laughs> where Lee's burning every <laughs> bridge there is out there. All right. Oh, hi, this is this is Manny Pacquiao. I'll fight anybody on FightNetRadio.com. Hi everyone, welcome to Fight Net Radio, Lee Hanish, Andrew Lapache, bringing you the wonderful world of boxing. We are back after our vacation slash birthday hiatus, whatever, weekend. <laughs> Crazy ass Aries people having their birthdays all weekend long. Uh, hi Andrew, happy birthday. Yeah, hey, thank you Lee, how's it going? Uh, it's going well. It's going well. Uh, there's news. There's yes, news. sir. Your uh, Raiders aren't coming back. Oh, why? What happened? What's the breaking news? No, that that that's it. They're gone. <laughs> They're not coming back. Yeah, Noel, I understand if if. And by but... the way, all you. The Raider haters, they're all kind of like shrugging. Uh, going, ah, it's Vegas. Yeah, it's fake. Listen. If Mark Davis purchases some land, gets a lease agreement with the SB1 committee, and also figures out the gap of money that the Southern Nevada Transportation Committee is now saying they have with Mark Davis. Once he gets all three of those boxes checked, then we will talk stadium. You know, Lee, what's funny about this this stadium that uh, the land that Mark Davis wants it's on a piece of property that has no sewer pipes, no streets, no. There's nothing there. Yeah, I know. It's a, it's a piece of dead. What is like, you know, whatever, Mark. I know the when area. You get like I said, Lee. When I see him purchase land and then work out the two things with the he doesn't have stop. to do shit, but show up with a team in a couple of years. No, 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 no. He's he's way in over his head on this. Everyone knows it. He's only putting in five hundred million. The bill's already at one point nine. At a certain point, Lee, the money runs out. The bank tells you, no, I'm sorry. We own your team right now. We will not give you any more money. What's the point? What do we get out of it if we already own your team if you default on this loan? So, you know, listen, Adelson, Sheldon Adelson said when he when he had Sandoval pass this bill, in that contract, it said he will pay for all overrun costs. It said it. He's worth $32 billion. He said anything goes over, I got it. Don't worry. Well, he's out. So who's taking up the overrun costs now? That's what the committee. <clears throat> and to all, everyone that said Oakland has you, way too you, committees, that's you, why they could never get anything done. You know, they're, you know they're already drilling on this land and doing infrastructure. No, he life. hasn't even purchased land. Lee, oh, they're already doing Lee, soil tests. I am telling you right now, the, the committee that he's working with on this land, they don't even want him there because they say there's not enough money to put it there. They, he, they need to widen three roads. They need to add oh, a freeway. Oh, they need to widen exit. the freeway. Yeah, they do. They, they got to do all that. They need to add a freeway lane to a- the Andrew, exit that's you know already there. You know they're going to do it. You know it's going to happen. Like I said, I am not. And do you want the Raiders listen, back, Lee, Andrew? Would you Lee, take the Raiders back? Wait, here's Lee, the simple question. listen to me. Right. Listen. If he gets those three things cleared, uh, there's nothing I can say. You're absolutely right. They're gone, bro. But don't give me that bullshit right now. I'm not an ant. I'm not a, this guy that follows fucking headlines on, on news, 
okay? I don't give a shit what the NFL said. The NFL don't build freeways. The NFL don't build roads, okay? These are things that Mark Davis and the city of, of Las Vegas are going to have to figure out. And I'm telling you, there's a bunch of people in those committees that are already against Mark Davis's team. They're not against the NFL being in Vegas. They're against putting in over a billion dollars to get this broke ass man out there. The city of Las Vegas don't build shit for broke people. There's billionaires out there. No, they're basically buying a football team. They are not it's, buying a football they are. team. Andrew. The bank leave. And here's Listen, the thing, bank Andrew. Of would, America, you want, would you want Bank it back of America anyway? is backing his loan. If if he defaults, Bank of America takes the loan. The NFL then purchases it from Bank of America. Listen, this is why they didn't want Ronnie Lott or Rodney Pete to get involved in the financing. They had six hundred million sitting on the table in Oakland. But guess what? These guys probably don't give the team back when he defaults, and the NFL knew that. What the hell? The NFL wants Rodney Pete and, and Ronnie Lott? Are you people serious? They're going to be sitting in with these other 31 owners? Bullshit. They said, fuck that. We don't like that deal. Get that deal out of here. They had $600 million. And with Mark Davis's five, you're at $1.1 billion right there in Oakland. They fucking screwed Oakland because they did not want Ronnie Lott sitting at the table. Sorry, Rodney P, you know what I'm saying. You know what this is about. That was $600 so, million. So They th said, we'll put on, we don't even need it back. We just want part. I got to be honest, for those of you listening, I just did it to stall so I could get the news articles up on my screen. I knew that Andrew would go off. And here's the reality. Andrew would be pissed if the Raiders stayed at this point. So... It's all. No, no, no. People, let me tell you what's going to happen. Uh, here we go. Adelson is Watch. running him for his money. Davis is going to go all in with the 500. He's already spent 150 over. He spent 150 over some land survey. I for promise the, next for week, Mandalay Andrew Bay. won't have a meltdown. No, no, no. I'm not having a meltdown. All right. The city of Oakland now wants he the is. 80 or 90 million. They He owes him, right? He's got to build that infrastructure gap. It's got to come, Lee. They're saying, even if it's half, where's he getting four fifty from? Who's gonna give this man a half a billion dollars when he's already in debt with three people? Uh, I don't know, Andrew. I really was exactly. just stalling until I got the articles up. Nah, man, don't I, believe the shit. I was just, until, I was just hey, look at stories up. I really <laughs> was. I know. I'm telling you, Lee. I don't, hey, the NFL. It is a box, for those listening, it is a boxing show. All right, we'll get He's over it. He's really passionate I'm about done. the Raiders. Really fucking passionate about Raiders. Yes, I'm done. Really fucking passionate about Lee, the Raiders. When they make those Don't even get them started about when San Francisco almost <laughs> had black colors. Holy shit. Hey. Remember when, that, Andrew? Remember yeah, they're, they always bite off us. Yeah, there you go. They, they call it Niner Empire. What the fuck? Niner Empire. What? Raider Nation trick. Fuck your Niner Empire. See? See? I can do this every week, people. And I don't know how you guys don't find it entertaining. <laughs> I find it fucking entertaining as well. By the way, for those of you wondering, I'm a Charger fan, and I'm happy as a fucking clam that they're in L.A. in a 30,000. I know, yeah. You don't... 30,000 would... seats, dude, sold out. Every would... fucking game is sold out. You know what that means for me? I get to watch it on my 100-inch TV each and every fucking week from the glory of my house. Every yeah. week, Andrew... 100 inches, surround sound, the whole fucking nine. I don't even Lee, have to I... fucking fight for a drink or a Lee, hot dog. Can oh. I, one thing for any Raider fans listening in Northern California to, to Southern California, okay? We cannot buy this NFL ticket bullshit. We cannot give the NFL money for taking our team away out of this state. You are. You are. I know. That's what a lot of people, and I think the and NFL you know was I'll looking at I'll probably go that. to more Raider games now that it's in Vegas. No, you won't. Less fear of death. Well, you might. You're always I, in Vegas. Yeah, I always am. It, Vegas is the greatest fucking town in the world. If it wasn't so fucking dry, I'd probably live there. <laughs> I mean, honest to God, if I could figure out how to get around the dry, hot, miserable thing they got going, <laughs> I'd be all over it like a cheap suit. No oh, doubt. yeah. Um, no tailgating. Oh, yeah. That, the, the Why site... would you need to tailgate in Vegas? You can stagger what? from the no. strip to the They stadium. want parking garages. That's for the locals. Look, you can walk. 
you the can lead. walk. The land, the land that he, Davis is You know how far you have to walk? Okay, stop this shit, okay? Because I've acres. gone to a Raider game, okay? 62. You know how many blocks I had to walk to go to that damn Raider game just to get to your parking lot? You know how many blocks I walked, Andrew? How many? It was about One... a half. No, it was about a half mile. <laughs> and hey, I Lee. showed up an hour and a half before the game. That's insanity. I'm a Charger fan. We show up 30 minutes before the game, walk right into the stadium door seats. You're the only team that, that tailgates. Maybe. I know. That's really big with us. That, Mark Davis said that was really big with him. Yeah. I guess not anymore. Over. Las Vegas Raiders, baby. I might even buy the shirt. Oh, jeez. Don't let him purchase spot. land first, Lee. Can he at least buy a plot? Would you Just, look? You've you guys have already opted out of 2019. You've already collectively opted out of 2019. Uh, we'll see how we will see how it goes. Look at I'll tell I'll tell you what. We didn't get a defensive star this year. I don't know if that has anything to do with the move, but we lost a lot of defensive players and didn't get one back in the free agency. Yeah, you know what you need is a backup quarterback. Um, Lee, I, we need we need, need some back, defense. We need a pass rusher. Yeah, we need a linebacker. No, we all the defense is in San Diego this year, baby. He's almighty. Let's be honest. All the defense. Okay, enough. This is a fucking boxing show. All right, let's go. Jesus. We're not even Wait. talking about UFC or MMA or even jujitsu. We're talking football, and it's not even football season. I just literally did it so I could buy time to get the shit up on the screen. That's just really what I did. For those of you wondering, here is the format of the show. Andrew is the esteemed and registered boxing writer. I know, hard to believe, right? But it's true. Uh, Andrew pulls a collection of stories. I read them. Andrew then comments on the softballs that I lob at him. And then it is my job to say something funny. You know how hard it is to make some of these stories funny? Really, really hard. Let me give you an example. Let's start with next week's fights. Basali Lamachenko takes on Jason Sosa for the WBO Junior Lightweight Championship. Why, Andrew, this is a big pile of shit. Tell me why I should tune into HBO on Saturday night. Well, look, you got two, you got two champions. And look, Sosa, I believe, gave up his title, but he's, he's the WBA um, champ. But Lamanchenko, we know, one of the best fighters in the world. Um, this fight's but why, interesting. Wait, wait, qualify this Lamanchenko thing for me, okay? I get it, and we've oh, been I talking about qualify. it for a while. But we've been riding the jock of Lamanchenko now for a while. Where is the defining fight that I don't understand about Vasali Lamanchenko? Because every time it gets to, oh, Lamanchenko's the man, and that's what Top Rank wants me to believe, and I'm a company guy, and they do approve me for credentials, so I will play ball. Lamanchenko's the man, right? Okay, when we put him in career-defining fights, he just seems to win on points in these kind of drawn-out... What is it? What, what, uh, what, what's the politically uh, correct term when they're he's boring on, he's on like a He's on a five-fight fight, uh, knockout streak, Lee. Yeah, but he uh, hasn't fought anybody. Listen, yeah, hey, he's 7-1, and one, bro. You know how I feel about him. I don't think he's... Anywhere near pound for pound the best in the world, especially Lee, because he hasn't even beaten Orlando Salido, the guy that first put the loss on him. Right. Um, Which was quote unquote workmanlike at best. And, and that was, dude, that had to have at least been three years ago. And he hasn't had a rematch. Like, what's been the holdup with Salido? All right. If he's the best in the world, why is it taking so long to get a rematch with the guy that has over a dozen losses? Mm hmm. They don't want it. So anyway, look, I don't think he's the best. He's not Andre Ward's number one in in my on my pound for pound list. It's not Vasily Lomachenko. In this fight, though, Jason Sosa is good. Lee, he he had a, a very controversial draw with Nicholas Walters right before the Lomachenko defeated him. Um, I I thought Walters won the fight easily. I didn't again, have it close at all. Again workmen like it best yeah yeah yes you can say it. jason jason and so uh, then Sosa top rank has... turned the corner and decided to feed him people to knock out and i and, well no he beats fanfara see that's when he wins the title he goes yeah, up but against a fanfara, undefeated but fanfara. Let's, let's be honest about fanfara okay outside of his one big victory what is fanfara does it doesn't uh, lee you can't i don't know i don't bro he was a very good boxer in the junior lightweight division 
He was he was top three. Okay, he was like twenty nine and zero. 